Every engineer has a dream to make rockets because each of us know how hard, complex, difficult and the most important cool it is. When my teacher gave us a project to do, she was always saying to describe how project is easy. Oh come on guys, it's not a rocket science. It's not exactly rocket science. Isn't it? <laughs> but that day today, today folks, we are making a little bit rocket science. So I'm preparing Technofest rocket competition on medium altitude. And we have a team and I'm in the charge of the electronic parts. I'm not gonna get into specific parts, but here are the basic parts of rocket. Body, engine, rescue system, payload, avionic system, I mean the flight cart, we are getting into detail of that, and the ground station. Even though it's not inside of the rocket, it's so important for rocket. The payload means a load which you get paid to carry, to take this load to specific place. So rockets aims to carry some things to target. It can be anything. It can be a satellite or a weapon or a rover, anything you want. Rescue systems helps you to lead the payload when the rockets reach the target. But how does it gonna work? We have lots of options here. You can use string, carbon dioxide tubes or anything you want. It depends on your creativity. It's up to you. I mean. Okay, but what we need an avionic system, what we need to fly the cart? Majority of rockets cannot control inventory, right? So we need a brain for the lead payload on target. But also, we need to check the rocket did its mission successfully or not. Yeah, we call that brain avionic system. Avionic system triggers the rescue system to lead the payload and check the conditions of his environment, the rocket's environment and also if he put on the camera on rockets maybe it helps to show some view from rockets. So all flight cars depends on what they want to do, depends on what is their mission, right? In this video we are gonna design a rocket avionic system from scratch and I'm gonna tell you what is it about and what is their algorithm, how it's gonna open the parachutes, how the rescue system will trigger. I will try to explain my design. Okay, let's check the design. We have two avionic systems in here for the one rocket. So we have a main card and also we have a backup card for the possibility of there will be any problem on the sky. So in the main card, as a microcontroller, we have STM32. And also for the trick to rescue system, we have BMP 180 or 280s. What is that? BMP 180 or 280 is a barometric pressure sensor. Thanks to that, we are taking to air pressure number as an input and as an output we are taking the altitude so when we reach the 10,000 feet or 3 kilometers we are taking to rescue system thanks to servo motors or DC motors we are gonna get into that so this is a pressure sensor but we can calculate the altitude okay why we have these ones switch buzzer and LEDs the technical competition wants to us to when we put the rockets on the launch pad they want to see when we started to our unique system they want to take a response take a signal to it's working and it's will gonna work on the sky we have so we have those ones because of that and we also have on the backup card side so why we are using gps okay after land after landing the jury wants us to find the rocket so we have to find the rocket so we have to see we have to know rocket location right so because of that we are using GPS and for communication we have two options in here first one XP pros second one LoRa modules because of the financial problems of our team we are using the LoRa modules but there is a possibility of Technofest foundation can help us about the financial problems but you know it's a chance so we don't want to jump into that so also SD card we have SD card why we have SD card it's not something 
we have to do, we have to add, but I want to add it because I want to see what happened on the sky. So when we jump to other side, we are using as a microcontroller Arduino Nanos and you know the switch puzzle LEDs things and the MPU things. You know MPU, you know the MPU is a gyro model. So we we are seeing the axis conditions thanks to that. So this is our rocket. Okay, yeah, whatever. This is our rocket, okay? Oh, okay, this is our rocket. And it's going, and it's full finished, okay? It's full finished, but how I can understand it's full finished? So when it's full finished, this motor stopped, it's gonna, this, its axis fall down, okay? And Thanks to MPU, I can see the axis. When when the axis reached the 19 degrees or the 16 60 degrees, I'm gonna trick the rescue system. One of them we are taking the altitude, the other one we are taking the axis one. So we have two algorithms for the two avionic cards, and if one of them is not gonna work, the other one it should probably work. So Okay, most of you guys pro will probably ask why don't we have a GPS on the backup side? Okay guys, if we have a GPS, if you want to add GPS on the backup side, we should have also a, a, a communication system. So, you know, it's expensive. So, we didn't add, but it should important at the backup card for the rescue system. Probably we're gonna use a lion batteries for the power. If you use the carbon dioxide tubes for the rescue system, you're gonna use DC motors or if you're gonna use the string way, you're gonna use the servo motors. Oh, what are those? What are those blue things on the board? Okay guys, unfortunately, Technofest competition wants us to find the payload. So, we have to coordinate of payload. So if you want to see coordinates on the ground station, we need GPS and we need a communication module and also we need a power. So we are adding those things on the payload. The payload will be a different place than rocket. So because we have two parachutes, one of them is the, for the rocket body, the other parachute for the payload system. We are joining the competition on medium altitude, so we have 10,000 feet to reach, and also we have to communicate between three and five kilometers, between three and five kilometers. Okay, that's it, guys. Okay, that's it. This is the episode one of my project. So if you want to see the second part, you can subscribe. And if you liked this video, you can like it, and you the algorithm show you more kind of this stuff in your homepage. So thanks for watching my video, I enjoyed when I'm doing it and see you next time.